We're going to factor the following polynomials using the method of decomposition. And um, if you would like to try some other questions, there are some other ones at thelandmath1015.com on YouTube or at the website www.ireallylovemath.com. Alright, well, the first question asks us to factor the polynomial 2x squared plus 13x minus 7. The method of decomposition requires us to multiply the first and last coefficient and that gives us negative 14. And so what we want are two numbers with a product of negative 14 and a sum of 13. Those two numbers are positive 14 and negative 1. That's a setup for us now to answer the question. We take that middle term of 13 and decompose it so that it has a coefficient of 14 and a coefficient of negative 1. What we can then do is common factor uh, 2x out of the first two terms and common factor negative 1 out of the last two terms. Our goal is to get the same binomial in each of these brackets. What we can then do is consider that we really have 2x times a quantity minus 1 times a quantity. We can common factor out that quantity. In other words, common factor out x plus 7, leaving us with 2x minus 1. Now, you might be saying, but wait a second, what if I had gone the other way and said minus x plus 14x? The process will still work. We could have uh, 2x squared minus x plus 14x minus 7. Common factoring out the first two terms, we common factor out an x, we're left with 2x minus 1. Out of the last two terms, common factor out a 7. And we see we have the same binomial factor in each of the two brackets, and so we can state our answer as 2x minus 1 times x plus 7. All right, well, our next question asks us to factor 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. Our product will be negative 18, and our sum is negative 7. Well, two numbers that multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 7 are negative 9 and positive 2. We decompose that middle term of negative 7x into negative 9x plus 2x. We then common factor out of the first two terms and common factor out of the next two terms. We should have the same quantity in each bracket. We do. And so we can say that our final answer is this term and this term combined into one bracket, 3x plus 1, times a second bracket equal to the factor common to both, which is 2x minus 3. Again, you might say, how about if I had used plus 2x minus 9x? The process still works. Decompose negative 7x into plus 2x minus 9x, then common factor out of the first two terms, common factor out of the next two terms, and what we have is the same binomial in each of the two brackets times 2x minus 3. All right, moving on then to our next one. This one sometimes people think is a little more difficult because it has a second variable. We don't have to really think of it that way though because uh, the decomposition will work. We want two numbers with a product of negative 24 and a sum of negative 23. The two numbers being sought are therefore negative 24 and positive 1. We decompose the middle term into negative 24xy plus 1xy. We can then common factor 4x out of the first two terms and common factor y out of the last two terms. Doing that gives us a common uh, binomial factor of x minus 6y and we can combine um, in that last step the way we've been doing and get 4x plus y times x minus 6y. You might say, what if I had switched the order of my factors in the middle? No problem. If you had said that negative 23xy is the same as plus xy minus 24xy, we could still have factored out um, x, and we could still have factored out negative 4y, or sorry, negative 6y. And what that would have left us with was a 4x plus y binomial factor and a 4x plus y binomial factor. Again, we're getting used to this notion now that this will be one of our binomial factors of our final answer and this will be the other one. x minus 6y times 4x plus y. Alrighty then.
keep on moving on and we get to this one 6a to the 4 minus 7a cubed b to the 4 minus 20a squared b to the 6 we notice right away that we can common factor hopefully we do that and this is a good time to emphasize the point that you should always try to common factor first in this case we can common factor specifically we can common factor a squared b squared out of every term that leaves us with 6a squared minus 7ab squared minus 20b to the 4 well 6 times negative 20 is negative 120 the sum is negative 7 the two numbers that provide those uh, are 8 and negative 15 well what we're then going to do is rewrite this term in the bracket decomposing the middle term into 8ab squared minus 15ab squared remember decompose the middle term so that the coefficient becomes plus 8 and minus 15 common factoring in this bracket then leads to 2a times 3a plus 4b squared minus 5b squared is our common factor here times 3a plus 4b squared we're still carrying this factor along on the outside but it's kind of a passenger for the time being it's not doing any work our focus is in here which becomes the square bracketed quantity and now we see we've got the same binomial twice so this square bracketed quantity actually is the same as 2a minus 5b squared times 3a plus 4b squared and we don't want to forget our common factor from the start of a squared b squared alright then the next question is 4x squared minus 19xy plus 12y to the 4 well our product is going to be 48 4 times 12 and our sum is negative 19 the only way two um, numbers have a positive product and a negative sum is if they're both negative in this case negative 16 and negative 3 so we um, decompose negative 19 xy to the xy squared into negative 16 xy squared minus 3 xy squared common factoring out of the first two and common factoring out of the last two leads to the next line then we see we have the same binomial twice so that becomes one of our factors the other factor being 4x minus 3y squared now we're not going to show that the other uh, decomposition order would have worked as well because we've already seen that a few times now gets us to our last question huge numbers and we realize perhaps that we should common factor first we're going to do that factoring out 4cd which leaves us with a pretty with um, a trinomial with relatively large terms uh, large coefficients well there's uh, no shortcut at this point we just say 24 times negative 12 is negative 288 and we have a sum of 23 so we're looking for a positive and a negative number in this case we realize that the numbers sought are 32 and negative 9 takes a little bit of effort to get that so we can then decompose our middle term remembering to carry along our common factor I call it a passenger at this point it's not doing any work we decompose that 23 c cubed d squared into 32 c cubed d squared minus 9 c cubed d squared we can then common factor out of the first two terms here common factor out of the last two terms here and uh, since we have the same binomial twice we're in good shape our final answer becomes this common factor which has been a passenger for a while times 8c cubed minus 3d squared times 3c cubed plus 4d squared since that was the uh, common binomial factor in the previous step